Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number 30. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are here at the Monster Series now. Uh, so these are beefy... Super bikes, and we're taking the Honda CB1300 Super Baldor Racing Modify. So, we're going to be starting off with Tokyo Route 246, going to Seoul Central, Suzuka Circuit, Apricot Hill Raceway, and Trial Mountain. Two very amazing tracks here. Um, not driven around Seoul yet, so that's going to be interesting. So, let's get straight into it. Right, so we are here at Tokyo R246, Route 246. And we have had to swap out our bike because our other one was crap. Uh, and we're going for the BMW Motorrad K1200R. The same bike we did in the last episode. But uh, this one should hopefully be a bit better because I have done a comparison of uh, power to weight ratios of all of the bikes. And this one has... Uh, from the bike that's in first place, which we keep getting... This bike's power to rate weight ratio is half, or just over half. Just under half, sorry. Is it? I don't know. Well, the power to weight ratio of the bike that's in first is 1.6, and this one is 0 0.9. So we have more power, but we have more weight. No. This one's more powerful, okay? There's less weight for the power, so yeah. It's weird. You would expect, like, the power to weight ratio to be, like, power per kilo. But no, it's, like, kilos per horsepower. How it's measured, so... But we are getting a huge gap, and actually, we never got this far. We were nowhere near the bike ahead in the other bike. I took the Honda, um... But now taking this BMW, I think it's a BMW, is it? I'm pretty sure it is. This BMW is doing amazing. Perfect. If we are less than 10 seconds as we cross the line, then we've done a good job. But uh, that other bike has gotten a massive lead compared to the rest of them. Seven point seven seconds. Perfect corner. I feel like we could definitely be catching up before the end. We are a little bit slower than the bike ahead throughout some of the corners, but this corner we seem to gain so much time, no matter what bike we use. Because we can just control the bike so much better through it. And look at how much distance we've gained. That is very good. Five point eight seconds now. Crazy. Nice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Look at the speed. Nice. 
race. I'm looking forward to seeing a high speed ring in that coming back to Gran Turismo. Because obviously they took away so... I don't think any of the original circuits from Gran Turismo, any of the city circuits, any of the originals. I don't think anything came from Gran Turismo 6 to GT Sport. They did have like um, some other ones. They had some of the official tracks from Gran Turismo 6, but those are like official. They're not... Yeah. It would be nice to see all of the original tracks though return. Because there are some very good ones in GT Sport. Very, very good ones. Had a little bit of contact there. Not great. Try not to hit that wall on the inside either. Right, the rear tyre is starting to turn yellow, which means we are experiencing a little bit of wear. I have a feeling for the uh, Taurus Trophy World Championship, we may have to swap all of our bike's tyres too hard uh, to make sure that we can actually do it. Nice. Got another corner coming up. Perfect. Got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of work to do later, actually. I've uh, managed to edit from episode 17 to... What is it? 27? So, 11 videos. Oh, horrific. Rubbish corner there. But yeah, I've edited episode... Those episodes, episode 17 to episode 27. They're all edited, uploaded, but the thumbnails aren't done yet. So I've got to do those got to sort out titles so that's going to be an hour long task at least to do all that and then I've got to edit this that I'm doing today which is about five videos so and then I have to do the thumbnails and all that again tonight tomorrow or whenever I finish the series so rip me that was an amazing corner there though even slower lap time, though. Coming up to the final lap. Perfect. The rear tyre is now orange. So uh, the wear is kicking in. But I haven't had any problems with tyre wear, like struggling or not being able to push the bikes in this game. I know in Gran Turismo, tyre wear is a massive problem, and when it starts to go, you feel it big time. Awesome. No, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. And that was too close to the finish. The other bike is right behind us. Look at that. Awesome. 
Let's go to the finish. Get this done and dusted. And there we go. We got a win. Ta-da. Amazing. That was very good. 9 minutes and 28 seconds for that. Next race is going to be really short, though. Really, really short. Well, there we go. Ta-da! On to the next one. Right, we're now here at Seoul Central. Let's go. This is uh, going to be quite a short track. Quite a short race. Um, I don't know whether we're going to have three races in this video or two. But, um, yeah. Obviously, all oh, post-editing. We edit it afterwards. Once we work out what we're doing. But I don't... I think this is going to be quite a short race, so we may end up having to put two, uh, three races in this video. We're nearly up in first place already, though. That was horrible. Oh, that's a good shout. I've only just noticed. Um, it doesn't have the icon for the car that's in first place, or bike. There. It doesn't show up with a picture of the bike anymore. Or they didn't add it into the game. Why wouldn't they do that? Like, that was a cool part of Gran Turismo 4. It showed you the car that was in first. That was horrible. One minute eight for that lap time. I have a feeling lap three is going to be our fastest. Because of tyre wear and the fact that we didn't crash. Or hopefully we don't crash, that is. Look how wide they have gone. Not even taking the corner. Crashing into us. Unbelievable. I would like to claim off of your insurance, please. For the damages you caused to my health and safety. I know, I'm chatting random shit now. Oh, horrible. We've gotten ourselves a penalty because of that now. Oh, no. And then we fall off. No. Okay, we did get ourselves into first place from one, uh, two laps. So three laps should be okay. But, oh, my God. We're going to have to watch out for that corner. We need to break before it narrows into... Um, the narrow gap that it is. Now, the other bike's probably gone way too wide, so we'll gain a lot of time in this corner. That was very quick. Look at how much speed we got through there. Awesome. Right, where is the narrow win? Perfect. Oh, that was close. Whew. I saw how close that was to my biker then. Could have knocked us off. And there we go, third lap. Probably the fastest lap we're going to do today. Look at that, gone so wide around there. We just sail on past. The fact that we've driven this bike for two championships and it's done a really good job, I feel like it deserves a number one. So hopefully we can get the bike the number one it deserves. Oh, we've gone what? too far too far okay we fell off it wasn't a 10 second penalty that's okay yeah this track isn't great um it's very difficult 
even in Gran Turismo 4, because the breaking point for that corner is just horrendous. That's why doing this as a reverse route is so much better than the original route. But uh, this bike, look how far he goes out. Hits the wall. Absolutely ruining his corner. And we get a massive speed boost on him. Absolutely humongous. Right, this is now the penultimate corner coming up. So we need to watch out for this because mess up here. It's game over. Okay. We're all right. Let's get around the finish. Perfect. Can't do a wheelie to celebrate. Unbelievable. But I told you the third lap would be the fastest, and it was... 5 minutes 26.339 for that race. Very nice. Me likes. Me likey likey a lot. Never said that. Never want to say it again. Let's just go to Suzuka before I uh, yeet myself off a bridge. Right. Welcome to Suzuka. This is the third race of the Monster Series. Suzuka's a nice track. So, I have a feeling the BMW is going to do me proud here. Um, I would like to get this done in hopefully under 12 minutes. That's my target time. We go from very nice corner there. Perfect. Flowing through that corner so well there. I think before, in the last race that we did, the five lap race, we were at one minute and two seconds by the time we hit that corner. We had already exited the corner and hit the time zone by the time we got to one minute and two seconds. So I think we could get below 12 minutes for this. To get below 12 minutes, we need, well, a very decent run, first of all. Careful. Spoon is a very dodgy corner because it's technically one corner but two corners. It's a, it's a massive debate whether it's one corner or two. I take it as two corners. So you have to get two breaking zones. A breaking zone on a corner. Before you've even exited the first part of Spoon, you have to start breaking for the second part. It's so, so out of position, out of place, not normal. 222. Now, 220 times 5 is 11.40. So that means we'll be getting 11 minutes and 50 seconds at 2.22 every single lap. So... But obviously we've got a running start for this lap as well, so... That should take off at least two seconds. So hopefully, yeah, we will get under 12 minutes. That'd be awesome. Move out of the way. You're not that quick. You're an American bike. You weren't supposed to make bikes. I've just offended some biker gang. I'm very sorry. <laughs> B 
Bikes are very cool, though. I do like some of the American bikes. Like, I'm not too great of a fan of uh, that bike behind. But the proper, like, three-wheeler bikes. The, the ones that a lot of people don't class as bikes, but are clearly bikes. Those ones. The big ones. With the meaty engines. Ah. Oh. You could put the engines of those bikes in a car, and they would... It would be so well in place. Just awesome. I really want to go on, like, an American road trip one day. Awesome. Right, on to lap number three now. Oh no, I've got my controller stuck. Ah! I've stood on my controller lead. Awesome. Awesome. That is amazing. One minute for that. We're easily going to get under 12 minutes for this. Perfect. Neato, Doritos. So obviously the Buell is right on our tail. The Buell actually manages to keep up, surprisingly, uh, unlike the other bikes. Uh, but our tyres are starting to suffer a little bit. You can see the uh, colour has turned a little bit orange. It's only a little bit orange, so it should be okay for now. It's when it turns red that you should start to worry. Could go bang at any point. I mean, I don't think this game simulates tire explosions. But uh, in real life, it would go bang. Guaranteed. On to lap number four. This is awesome. I have a feeling as well, because I think there is enough room in the middle of the Suzuka circuit there to make a go-kart track. Like, I would presume Suzuka... I've never seen the middle of the Suzuka track, so there might not be a track inside there. But if there is a track inside there, like, this would be technically classed as the world's best racetrack. Because obviously Silverstone has the stove circuit, which is a tiny little circuit inside that they take go-karts and little hatchbacks and all that. You've also got the international circuit, the national circuit, and then the Grand Prix circuit. And then you've also got the old circuit as well.
I mean, on my bucket list, there is definitely Ona Skyline, either an R32 or an R34. That's on my bucket list. But that's in many years. But also on my bucket list is when I own that Skyline to go to Japan. For like two weeks, obviously I'd probably end up needing someone who could speak some Japan. Some Japan, fuck me. Some Japanese. Um, so that, you know, I could communicate because I'm crap at learning languages. I'm not good at all. Um, but then, yeah. Go to all of the tracks. Suzuka. Sakuba. Mategi. Amazing. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. On to the brakes for the final lap. We've got a very dark orange tyre towards the rear now. Awesome. Come on. Awesome. Make sure to slow down as early as possible for these corners as to not overshoot them. that rear tire now that has gone red wait it's red but I can still grip very well that is interesting okay I can't tell if that's very dark orange or just red I think it is just red now. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, there is definitely some form of performance problem. Because we lost so much time in those last two laps. But we still got the below 12 minutes. 11.49.399. Very good. With no rear tyre at the end. Thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links, we have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.